this take it in at the goal line and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line start the drive. It's a room to maneuver. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Now Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 30. A good pick up there. 26 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw out to his left. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive. Touchdown, Jaguars! Travis Etienne from 10 yards out. And the Jaguars are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. That's multiple times now. He's tagged him with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Tua now on first down. 
And going deep for Hill. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Lawrence. And his throw is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Got a man. It's caught inside the ten. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. ETN is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier, was bidding for a second. On second and goal, Lawrence. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. It's Xavier Howard who brings him down from his corner position. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. On third and goal, Lawrence. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Jags have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception. This is intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. 